Hey guys, it's MazeMan112, and today I'm here with Git Matrix, and I'm doing a dual com. We're gonna go through some hard point match you had where you went 80, what was it, 86 and 4? 84 and 6 using non lethals. Non lethals. So there's a couple questions that I actually want to ask you, because when I looked at your ranking, you're actually ranked top 100 in the world. How do you feel about that? Uh, pretty bad. That means I play a lot, but uh, I do have the high score per minute that's in the top 10,000 players, so. And I don't know if that's impressive either. Kind of makes me sound like a big time nerd, but <laughs> no, no, it's actually it's a really impressive. Now, my big question to you is, um, what do you do to to get such a high points per minute? Uh, if you watch how I play in this game, you see that I farm, which is basically you get on and off the hard points. See how I just hopped off there, yeah. and then now I'm gonna hop right back in and kill the guy, and then you get uh, 200 points for the capture, and you get your kill points too. Okay, and so they're actually, when the, the, the hard point goes to the enemy team, then you're recapturing it and you can have those points right there as well. Yeah, and then if you do that a bunch of times, right, that's next, it's basically free 200 points for killing one person plus the kill, which is 125. Okay, and okay. just back up really quick. Does that mean you recommend playing hard point? Is this your main uh, game mode of choice? Yeah, I'm still stuck on the multi team hard point. Multi team too, huh? Yeah. Okay. I think that. If you remember that first commentary you did on one of my videos there was, uh, yeah, that was multi-team hardpoint as well. Yeah, as I'm saying, I, I played a couple of the multi-team, and it's kind of weird even though you have less people in there. It seems like you have a, a higher traffic flow. Yeah, it's because you only have two teammates, right? So you, it's the same amount of people that you're going to be killing, but there's only two people on your team doing the same thing. Instead of having those extra three players if you played in 6v6. Gotcha, gotcha. Now, what kind of glass setup do you have going on here? I believe this class was a lightweight hardline with uh, toughness and scavenger as well as dexterity. And then I have the PDW with laser sight and the diamond camo. I like that. And also, what else do I have? Oh, a C4s. Okay, I, I love the C4s as well. And actually, the last dual com I did with you, or the actual last game mode I went over with you, you were running the extended mag, so you switched away from that. Yeah, I switched away from it. Um... I don't know why, really. I just kind of figured with uh, the PDW, it's like it's about 50 bullets anyways, and most of the time I can run through three, four, or five players with just that clip and not really have an issue. Just see, I, I find myself all the time getting killed uh, when I'm trying to reload, and that's kind of a, you know, a dagger. Yeah. Now, another question I have, do you, do you normally play solo or do you play with a group of people? I play with a team. Okay, like, is this game mode right here then with your team as well? Uh, not my specific team. I was playing with two people from the clan I'm in now, which is Feared by All. We were, it was Celerity and Blood and Gore. But I usually play with uh, SLX TNT, who currently holds the Gun Streak record, which is on our channel, and uh, OX Nova. And uh, what is the Gun Streak record, actually? 103. 103, damn, that is a lot of kills with just your gun. Yeah, now, do you guys do any competitive gaming as well? Uh, we were for a while, but we kind of gave up on it. It's mostly just pub stomping at this time. Now, when you guys were playing, was it uh, MLG or game battles? What were you guys doing? Uh, we were we were only playing league play, but we did have a sponsor that was going to send us to Dallas and uh, Call of Duty XP if we could get into it. But we kind of our team kind of was all raging at each other and stuff one night, and I just said, "Fuck it, we're done." Now, uh, how how high up did you guys get in the league play? Uh, we were masters like tenth or something. That's pretty high. Uh, what do what subdivision were you guys in? What do you guys have any uh, good pro teams with you guys? I don't even remember which uh, the subdivision it was, but I do remember playing against the optic team and they destroyed us. So <laughs> it's been fun going to uh, any of those big tournaments, anyways. <laughs> and seeing them, yeah, we actually I was playing some league play with a couple of my buddies and we wind up running into complexity. And uh, they just absolutely worked us over, and it was you know, it was really just unfair. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not even funny. It's just like they know exactly where you're going to be or where you're coming from, and they put themselves in a position to outgun you. Now, with the competitive scene growing, and you're such a high points per minute, and you're able to devote the time to you know really learn the maps and learn the spawns and the ins and out of it, do you think you're going to be doing any more competitive gaming here in the near future? Uh, possibly. It depends if I can find a team that's willing to be serious about it, right? Like, obviously, I play this a lot. I know a lot about this game, but it's got to be somebody else devoting their time to it, too, right? Uh, yeah, exactly, exactly. And also, you live in Canada, so yeah. do you guys have a lot of competitive gaming kind of going up north of the border? 
Uh, there's a couple players here and there. Uh, I believe that I wouldn't have been able to play in any of those tournaments anyways because they're U.S. only. I was when I was reading through the 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 rules and stuff. They, it said you had to be eight, 18 years old and a resident of the U.S. state, United States. Where? Was that for Con XP or for the MLG in Dallas? X, XP. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say I knew they were having some funny rules, and I didn't know if that was because it was in California or if it was just you know MLG rules or not. I think yeah, it was just a new set of rules because I know last year there was younger people that were playing in it. And then uh, another question I have for you is, what is your overall opinion so far of Black Ops 2? Oh, <laughs> you don't even want to get me going on that. Uh, I kind of like it. It's good sometimes, and then when it's bad, it's just fucking awful, and I want to break shit. Now, is your biggest complaint the connection issues? Yeah, that's where I'm going to go, for sure. And I almost feel like that's what Black Ops 2 is going to be known for. It's going to be known for having this really crappy connection, and... I'm a little bit surprised if they've completely ignored this the entire time the game's been out. I'll completely agree with you on that. I, I did listen to that commentary you did, and I I thought you were spot on with it. That's what it's going to be remembered for. Yeah, and it's, it's kind of really sad because I really like you know a lot of the innovation. You know, you're rewarding players who play the objective, and to me, you have all these new features, and you miss the simplest thing with the connection. Yeah, that's for sure. Like... There's no way that you can remember it for anything else. Like, when when the connection's good, it's a perfect game. It's good. Everything's fun. It's good. I like that they integrated all the score and stuff into it. And it's a good game, but the connection, man, that's all it is. Yeah, you know, it's, it's definitely what it's going to be known for. Now, yeah. you guys recently started a new channel. Can you go ahead and tell me about this channel you guys have started? Uh, it's a small group of us. We... Some of the players from Triad Nation, I am I myself, and SLX TNT, and Mr. Intensify, and that guy Val G, we were the leaders of Triad Nation. We kind of were sick and tired of dealing with everyone. And no, everybody was saying, oh, can you put this on the channel, blah, 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 blah. So we could just said, screw it. We're going to cut down, and we're going to keep the players that we know can get gameplays, because all these people are asking to put up low-scoring games and stuff like that. But, yeah, so we have some nice games on there. We have a couple 1,500-plus score per minute, some high gun streaks, some nuclears, and everything in between. All right, so your channel is, is really based around just having these crazy gameplays and these high score per minutes in KDs, correct? Yes, trying to. <laughs> I think you're doing pretty good at that by looking at your, your KD and your score per minute. And uh, my other question is, what kind of schedule can uh, viewers kind of expect from you guys? Uh, we try and upload every day. I think we we didn't upload yesterday. I was out drinking with some buddies and stuff, so I didn't really... Some things take, take precedent. Uh, yeah. But mostly every day we upload, so... Okay. Because uh, with the Try Hard Nation, you guys weren't doing daily uploads, so it's it's great that you guys are able to do that now. And now yeah. you guys just have your core group, the people who are really doing the work in general anyways. Yes. Oh, good, good, good. Now, my my last question for you is... How do you feel about the YouTube Call of Duty scene right now? It seems very fractured, and a lot of people are, are kind of up in a tizzy with machinima issues and a lot of these contracts being redone. Yeah, see, I'm not really all into that. I We just were actually recently partnered with RPM, okay. and I didn't know much about the contracts and stuff and how people... I heard there was pay cuts and stuff, so a lot of people were terminating their contracts and stuff, but I didn't know the whole scene behind it. Yeah, some people are saying that they've actually are now making about a third of what they were making, and uh, but you know it had to be done because the big companies were actually losing money, and I just feel like, you know, the bigger side of corporate America and corporate in general is getting into the YouTube scene, and when that happens, greed's going to take over, and uh, the small guys are really going to find themselves on the short yeah. end of the stick. I'm going to completely agree with you on that as well. All right, well that is good. Go ahead and talk to you. We're, this will be on both of our channels. Uh, if you guys have any other questions, comments, concerns, make sure you guys leave it in the comment section below. Make sure you guys hit that like button, hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Mission directive achieved. Well done. The topic, you know, the issue... Spotlight bitches, today go ahead and talk about North Korea threatening the United States. Go ahead and check that one out as well.